It has been one year since the attack on Israel by Hamas that sparked a war in Gaza. The Israeli military is on alert as it continued its operations in the Palestinian territory. Well, the Israeli Defense Forces, they have bolstered its deployment in northern Gaza. These are images of IDF deploying tanks and armored vehicles in northern Gaza's Jabalia area. The IDF claims this move is to prevent Hamas from rebuilding its operations. The Israeli military is implementing a readiness plan. The IDF has also intensified military activities near the Gaza Strip. It says it has deployed additional defense personnel in the preparation for the October 7th commemoration events. The IDF's Gaza Division has been reinforced with several platoons with forces stationed to defend both the communities and the border area. The soldiers are fully equipped to defend the region in coordination with the local security forces. The Israeli police, they are ensuring a comprehensive response to any incidents that may arise. Reports suggest that the situation in Southern Command, they are preparing for both defensive and offensive scenarios over the coming month. The IDF says that the heightened security is only to ensure that the safe proceedings of memorial ceremonies near the Gaza Strip can take place. In addition to reinforcing defensive units, three divisions are currently operating within Gaza, continuing their mission to dismantle Hamas infrastructure and degrade Hamas's capabilities until all war objectives are achieved. Gazans, on the other hand, are mourning the loss of their loved ones after Israel launched fresh offensive in central Gaza's Deir el Bala. The humanitarian situation continues to worsen with millions displaced after a year of conflict. The Jews are against us and the Arabs are against us. Where do we go and emigrate? We are sitting in a tent all night and the bombing is on us. And I could not believe it when the morning came upon us. Have mercy on us. Since October 7 to the present day, this is the 12th time that I and my children, eight individuals, have been homeless and thrown into the streets and do not know where to go. The IDF says its operations are precisely targeting Hamas military assets, while Hamas denies using civilian facilities for military purposes.